what we're doing now is going to a place called Two Huts that was recommended to me. It's about three kilometers away. And I've seen it on a Paddy Doyle video as well. It looked really good. It's where people go to see the sun go down. I don't think I'm gonna wait that long. I just wanna go and have a look. See, my place is just five minutes. You go into town that way. But there's two huts, we're going to take a right this time. So there's uh, quite a few people here. Might get a drink here as well, actually. Oh, the temperatures now, people, just perfect. It just feels just warm, you know? Not, not roasting hot, just nice and warm. Right, so here we are. I'm gonna have a look around. It's quite a well-known place. And I'll get a drink here, I think. We'll chill out. Have a look at the amazing view that I can already see. It's got a little place here where you can get food and stuff, look. And up here, there's a swimming pool. 50 baht a time. Got a pool here, look. Nice pool. Yeah, this view down here is incredible. So I'm hoping it's showing up, guys. It was looking dark on the screen, but... Incredible. People down there working in them fields. So I thought, do I get another milk tea? Nah, gone for a Leo boy, gone for a Leo. 60 baht, it's not too bad. It's a small one, but it's not too bad, is it? 60 baht, just gonna sit here, drink this cold one. Yes, mate. Gonna enjoy this beer. I'm on holiday. Cheers. Ah, ice cold as well. Lovely. <laughs> so I've been sat here for about 45 minutes. Chugging on my beer. There's quite a few people here now. It's gonna keep getting more busy as the sun goes down. I'd like to stay, but it's gonna be another hour at least, so. I think I will finish this one and then head into town, get some food. Feel like the oldest swinger in town. <laughs> like, I don't think there's many people here over, I wouldn't say over 30, there's a couple guys down there, probably older than me, 50, 55. But yeah, it's generally people on holiday, I think 20, 25. The town, the town is more, I like the town more than I thought. It's a great layout with the mountains and the scenery as well. And you can walk around, it's nice and chilled. I thought Chiang Mai was chilled, but just come here, man. If you think Chiang Mai's chilled, come to Pai, for sure. We've got a footy game going on. I could join in and show them all up, but better not. Could give them the old John Barnes, you know. 
Are they not bad, are they? Not bad. So, give you one last look at the two huts. Amazing. I had a good time here. Just sitting with a nice Leo beer for about an hour. Really enjoyed it. It's cool. Thank you. See you again. So that was cool. I enjoyed it. It was it's well worth coming down here for a drink. Probably this is better than any of the bars in town, I would have thought. I would prefer this for for sure. Yes, yeah, a great place. I mean look at them views. You can't you can't argue with that coming here for a beer. And everything's chilled as well. Everybody's chilled. I was chatting to a few people and everybody's just laid back. I mean look at them, everybody's in hammocks, laying back, chilling out, taking it easy. In England they would be you know, there'd be bottles flying everywhere by now. <laughs> and I think I was the only one that was drinking a beer. I was expecting everyone to be on the last year, but they're all on like green teas and peppermint teas. So everybody's, you know, they're here probably smoking the old catch, aren't they? There's one guy down the front smoking, chain smoking. So yeah, it's good to come and check it out. I'm seeing it on loads of vlogs. I'm going to head back into town now. Wakey, wakey, eggs in bakey. Touching down from a very early morning in Pi. Again, it's about 7 a.m. I slept in a bit longer this morning because yeah, I was out with Sean vlogging the dead horse. We had a few beers and a, and a good chat for a couple of hours in a bar in Pi last night. And yeah, I gave me a good sleep, man. A few beers sent me off lovely. Everybody's curtains are still drawn. Doesn't seem quite as cold this morning. It's cold, but not absolutely freezing. So I've had a great, great time in Pi over the three days. It's grown on me. I, I know my way around this little town pretty well already now. Just take a wander down through, see what's happening. See if Lucille's all right. So there's nobody working in the fields yet. This is right outside my window, look. Here's my little bungalow. There's my window. Over here we got the got the working fields man. Yeah, it's with a heavy heart that I'm leaving. I wondered if I should stay another night. But the thing is with Pi, you see everything mainly in one <laughs> one day. You could if you really wanted to and obviously there's a few more things I could go and see but it's just about living the life here after you've seen everything good morning swaddy cab <laughs> ah there's lucille look lucille's in there all parked up lovely the pie resort i'm gonna come and stay at this one again i had a better night's sleep in this one than i did in the one that cost double down the road Yeah, you're looking for some food. I oh, haven't got no food, sorry. Yeah, I don't really want to go back to Chiang Mai just yet. But it's not the end of the journeys, guys. It's, it's just the beginning. I'm going to go back, regroup. Think about what I'm going to do. And probably head off somewhere else in the next few weeks. Stayed in two nice places, really. But I'll come back to this one. There's loads like this in Pi. But, yeah, look, it's cool. It's all you need, right? A little bungalow like this. Back to reality. Back to life. Back to reality. Back to Chiang Mai hustle and bustle. 
Here it just seems like everybody, you know, time forgets you in pie. So that's the plan today. I'm going to freshen up because my eyes are like piss holes in the snow. And then we're going to head into town and see what's going on. So I'll see you in a bit. So I just had my final omelette and rice and a nice green tea in pie. And I'm going to have one more walk around here before I leave later on today. I'm going to head up to this park that I've never been to. I've never walked up here in the daytime. So I thought we'll just do this this morning. Shall I have a look in here because I wanted a pie sticker. Ah, they've got some here. I want one for my laptop. So I'll get one. Ah, they're all pretty nice, aren't they? I'll just get a simple one. So these are the two I've gone for, guys. I've got a small one and a bigger one. Thank you. Ah, so gone for that one there, look. If you can see it. Pi Mahon Son 762 curves. And yeah, this small one will go on my laptop. Pi 762 Mayon Son Thailand. Ah, lovely jubbly. I wanted to get me two stickers. That's got loads of hardware stores up this side. That's one thing I didn't see in the last couple of days. But they've got it all here. Sunnies. Oh, I can't buy another pair of sunnies, no way. So I'm probably going to leave in a couple of hours, around 10. I've got to check out at 11.30, so I'll leave a little bit before that. Then I'll, I'll take it easy on the way back because the minivans will be out in force. I don't know what road we're on, but we're going to have a walk down. I think Pi's going to be my my little escape from Chiang Mai from now on. Whenever I just need a few days away, um, I'm gonna drive up here. You can see the white Buddha from here. You probably can on the wide screen. That's an amazing view. Just the big white Buddha in the middle of the, of the mountain there. Right, so I think this is not walking street down here. How can you get lost in Pai? It's impossible. I thought I knew my way round. We are down on the street again. So yeah, I was right. It's a pretty simple, it's a simple um, town, it really is. And you know that feeling you get when you go on holiday and you're going home? Oh, Chiang Mai is my home. That's what it feels like now and I don't really want to go home, even though I love Chiang Mai. Back to what you know, back to everything you know, all the streets you know. It's, yeah, it's giving me a right energy boost anyway, guys. I'm going to stop waffling. Right, guys. After three amazing days, it's time to leave Pi. I've had a great time. It's been amazing. I wanted to stay longer, but it's just not to be so. So bye bye North Thailand, bye. This will be the day that I die, I hope not. We got 762 turns to go.
I've been on the road about an hour and 15 minutes and yeah it's raining it's raining man the roads up in the mountain was they're soaked so I was taking it extra careful here's me thinking that the sun was going to come out I probably would have stayed in pie if I knew I probably would have stayed in pie if I knew it was going to be a a cloudy day and rainy day then came back tomorrow but yeah yeah it's a story yeah I've come I've done it in the rain man so yeah I've been doing it extra extra careful bike soaked helmet soaked I'm soaked I've had to put on all my layers of t-shirts as well because it was absolutely freezing I've stopped off for a coffee at this cool place here coffee wee the witch's house got loads of witches Halloween theme so we're gonna go in there and get a quick um, green tea or something the witch's house cool <laughs> loads of them so I think I have seen this on a vlog as well before that's different eh oh, I spit in my rain still I could do with a bit of grub just to see what they got here a minute uh, tea tea with milk green tea I think I'll get a green tea hot Swaddy cap. Let's just take a look here. There you go, lit. There's a new bird for you on a Saturday night. Yeah, a few times coming down, I thought, I thought I'm gonna slide because the air pin's so tight as well. I thought the bike's gonna give way, but. She hang on in there, she was okay. Um, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be an overcast day in Chiang Mai too. I thought the sun was gonna come out, the weather forecast said it was gonna get better. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. And I was gonna go to some other places on the way down, but I don't think I will now, guys, because the sun's not out and it's just a dreary day, so I might do that on a separate day. So I'm going to drink this and walk on down. So there it is, it was staring me right in the face. We're not quite halfway yet. Chiang Mai, 82 kilometers. Bangkok, 773. And we're on the famous 1095. Pi, 53. So yeah, we're not halfway yet. Feels like I've been on the road for a bit. May Hong Son, 156. Ah, maybe I should have went. Yeah, I wasn't ready to go further. I need more things, man. I'm going to go back, regroup, and yeah, take some more stuff next time. I only took two or three t shirts, and you know, I want to put my bag on my back, on the back of the bike, and things like that. So the next trip, that's what I'm going to do get it all properly organized. I'm going to take on the the next stage guys I'm gonna try and get into Chiang Mai before, before the sun comes out because I think it is starting to come out now and yeah the next time I see you we'll be in Chiang Mai we'll have a little chat I'll have a little review of the whole trip and yeah work out probably what I've spent what I've done and yeah that was the trip coming to a close on to the next one so I'll see you guys back in Chiang Mai 